would say sometime in high school, I thought that I might have a chance to play in the NBA, but then right after my freshman year of college, when I really made a jump and got on the USA basketball team and was working out really well and seeing my game improve, that that's when I thought I had a real chance. For me, it's, it's always been self-determination and hard work, wanting to be a successful person. But not only that, I'm taking care of my mom now, so it's, it's big for me to want to take care of her, as well as my brother a little bit. So it's just been internal drive for me most of my life. Coach Stotts has been good. Um, definitely is uh, very passionate about the game, and uh, I can't wait to get started. What did you work on in the offseason? What would you add to your game? Everything, really. I just try to become as versatile as possible, extending my range, working on my back to the basket game, working on facing up out of the post, rebounding, and just becoming a student of the game, watching other guys in the NBA play and things like that. Playing in Miami will be pretty neat, obviously, just because there's so much hype around it. And then playing close to home in Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, uh, Indianapolis. At Indianapolis, that may be the best game uh, of the year because when I go in, people are going to know because there's going to be a lot of people from my hometown there. You know, I think if you're good to yourself off the court, if you sleep right, if you eat right, hydrate, if you're a good person, if you care about others, it's all going to fall in place on the court. So it's very important what you do off the court, and a lot of people don't understand that. Hey Blazers fans, I'm ready for the season and I can't wait to see you guys when the season starts.